Here is a corn grower's dream, to make a row like this look like this. The way to do so is to use a herbicide that kills all of the invasive grass and weed species that deplete nutrients and moisture, thereby lowering yield. A field day event like this can show a comparison of different herbicides so retail agrochemical dealers can see what to recommend to growers. Weeds are becoming resistant to some herbicides, so the industry has to develop new ones. FMC is in the final registration process for a product called Anthem. Anthem is a very strong product on, on the grass species that, uh, that many of the growers face, but then the residual control of that also is, uh, is very good, and we tend to see you know, residual that it can be anywhere from two to four weeks longer than your traditional herbicides, so we're not getting as many of those late season flushes. Agri-dealers have their own reasons for liking a new product. We had some, some fields that we had to come in early post on, which was originally intended for, for pre-emerge. With this product, we can use the same product and go straight through. Anthem herbicide also works to control grasses and many broadleaf weeds in soybeans, where weeds are much more visible through most of the season. This chemistry is new and the fact that its use rates are very, very low. So versus some other chemistry, we're looking at a very low use rate, which is ideal and a lot of people like. FMC has been known as an insecticide company and still packs a punch for crop damaging insects from soybean aphids to Japanese beetles. So it really becomes with soybeans at $14 a, a function of, of economics and you got a multitude of number of insects damaging that bean, taking away yields. Uh, it, it's very easy to throw some hero in with a uh, a glyphosate application or in with that fungicide application. In the battle of man versus weeds and insects, only advancing technology will give man a chance to survive against the best efforts of nature to take back the fields. For the Agribusiness Report, I'm Ken Root.